The Hangout on Air is live. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to RC Pilots Lounge number 30. Can you hear me now? Number 30. Can you hear me now? I've got some adjusting to do, ladies and gentlemen. Can you hear me now? How's everybody doing tonight, ladies and gentlemen? I got to get it where I don't have the feedback and stuff like, ah, come on. Multiple windows. You're like the Verizon. I am. Well, he's Sprint now, right? I am kind of like the Verizon guy, right? And now he's with Sprint. Um, everybody, hello. I'm going to shout you out in a minute. We got a, a, a guest tonight. And uh, he's on standby right now where we get things up and running. And I'm just trying to get it where I can see the chat tonight. Um, so bear with me a little bit. Robert Ortlip in the house. I've not seen you here. Welcome. Bill Surratt, Dave's RC, Dave Kolwischke. The sound is good right now. I want you guys to let me know how the sound is for our guest, Tom Cogswell from Horizon Hobby. Um, when he comes on right now, he's on standby. He's actually getting a 3D print going and we are awesome. Uh, hanging out show number 30. Can you believe it? Ladies and gentlemen, um, deuces wild, Eric Rogers, Paul, LJ hobby life, Chris Jackson, John, Knott, Barry Gruder, Mrs. Boozer, BT, Ricky DeFoton. Are you back from your cruise? Hanger 51, Bob the Good, Who Let the Dogs Out, Michael Rajka, Mary Boozer RC. Um, <laughs> you're hilarious, David Parker, Wayne 630, what is going on? Paul Hatcher in the house, Brett Archibald, howdy, how are you? Um, Fred Barron, goodness. Hey, what a week, what a week. So the release, we were at Dennis Farley in the house, Hanger Rats Forever. Um, so we were talking about the release the other day, and uh, it happened. We'll talk about that. We're going to talk to um, Tom from Horizon Hobby and pick his brain a little bit and also kind of go back to that early style where we were asking questions, some of those questions that relate to all of us, kind of like our, our own origin story. So I'm going to pick his brain on how he got into the hobby, also um, how he got with Horizon Hobby, because I'm sure that's an interesting story. Um, Mary Boozer, you saw the T45 sneak peek on Instagram today. Follow the Pilot Ryan on Instagram, ladies and gentlemen, if you want a, a predecessor to what videos are coming out in the future. I'm working on the FMS 90 millimeter EDF outfit into the Freewing T45, as well as a functioning tail hook modification strong enough to actually catch a wire, and we're going to do it. Craig Beaven, what is up? Alberto, Will Nate, 35, Emmerich, um, awesome sauce. Uh, good to see you guys. So most of you guys have already been on the show before. Thanks for coming over. You know how it goes. Um, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. If you haven't subscribed, do that. This is a channel where you can come to hang out weekly, 9 o'clock Eastern time, with a bunch of other guys and gals that feel the same way you do about the hobby. Also, you can come for information, ask questions in the comment section of these videos. Um, we're there. Anybody who's asked questions knows that. Um, speaking of videos, the Corsair crash, ladies and gentlemen, we released it last Saturday at 9 o'clock. That thing has over 12,500 views on it, over 200 comments, and just as many likes and a handful of dislikes probably because guys hate to see a bird go down like that. So, um, that was a great video and I hope we all learn pre-flight, pre-flight, pre-flight. And after you pre-flight it, pre-flight it again. Um, yeah, Caleb, we're going to talk about the E-Flight F4 tonight. Um, Mary Boozer's got some merch going on, drop links. Um, all that stuff. Yeah, subscribe to Mott Cogs. He doesn't have a lot going on. That's that's the channel of Tom Cogswell. 
Uh, he, he says he has more going on with his Facebook and his Spectrum RC stuff. So he's dropped links in the chat and I think also in the legit comment section that um, is, is here, right, in, in the video. So I'm going to bring him on in a minute. He's waiting patiently. We're going to uh, let him say hello. We're going to check sound, make sure all is well. John's in. How are you? Wings88. What's going on, Ron Upton, right? Isn't that your name? Uh, or I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Wings88. Michael Sherman, hello from Dallas. <laughs> Dave's RC says it's an odd thing for me to crash. Well, just got the Flex RV8. That's cool. Guys, now, now don't feel bad if I'm not being able to moderate the chat as much as usual when we have our guest on because we definitely want to give him the attention. Wings 88, I was right, correct. So I'm going to unmute our, our fellow here and uh, let him say hi. And I'll try to, if you got any questions for him, you might have to ask me more than once. I'll do my best to try to see him, but I have my own questions for him as well. So we're going to bring him on, give him a warm RC Pilots Lounge welcome. He's not going to hear it or see it, but blow him up on social. Hit him on his Facebook page and hit him on his Spectrum stuff and let him know that you saw him over here, okay? Huju, what's up? So I'm going to bring him on. Tom, right. welcome. Hey, 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 hey. It's Tom from Horizon Hobby talking at you guys. How's it going? Extremely Good to see you. well. Thank you so much for being on the show. Um, ladies and gentlemen in the chat, let me know how you hear Tom. I can turn him up a little bit if I need to, and I can also turn myself down some if I need to. How does Tom sound, ladies and gentlemen? Is it just me and you? No, Captain Mike? I thought his name was on this stuff. Oh, yeah. Captain Mike's the cameraman, dude. It's Pilot Ryan and Captain Mike. Yeah, he oh. comes when he feels like it. Okay, all right, all right. I'm That's the cool. fuel in the fire. So is is Captain Mike there right now too? Is he is he drinking coffee with you? He's not. He's mm. not. He's he's always here in spirit. Um, yeah. He he comes when he wants. I mean, it's one of those things. This he's my wild child. Tom sounds yeah. okay. I'm gonna turn you up just a little bit anyway because I'd rather make him. Uh, I'd rather him tell me to turn you down than yep. than everybody. Uh, I've heard that before. <laughs> then, then we find out later. Uh, Ricky the Photon, that's what she said. So, guys, Tom's here from Horizon Hobby. Uh, he just had a birthday. He's hey. uh, tell, tell us how old you are. I'm a, a whopping 32. He's a whopping 32. He's a young one. <laughs> um, well, happy birthday. I, I think I told you happy birthday on Facebook. If I didn't, you, uh, I you, you, you did. Can add yourself to the long list of other people I never say happy birthday to. Cool. Um, Brian Chambers, how are you? Everybody says hello, Tom. So, so let's just dive right into some of these questions and give people a little bit of a, a, a kind of an idea of just the basic modeling experience, and then we'll go kind of maybe horizon hobby centric with some of the questions. Does that sound okay? Sure. Yeah. Awesome. So. Let's go right into my old school F word questions. I got, okay. I start with three F word questions and then we'll go from there. So the first plane that you ever flew ever RC, what was it? Uh, uh, the original super cub from hobby zone. Three yeah. channel brushless. Three channel. The, the 72 megahertz one. That's right. Anytime yeah. someone in the neighborhood cook popcorn or open the garage door, you were in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That was the banana hobby, 27 megahertz. That was trouble. Yeah. I don't think I had really much trouble with it. You know, we, I would always go out in a big open field and not really, I don't think there's much around to really bother me. That stuff was definitely solid too. And, and I really don't remember anyone ever having that kind of uh, conversation about it. I personally had a hell of a time with the 27 megahertz stuff that came 90% mm -hmm. pre-assembled from, I think it was Nitro back in the yeah. day. All right, cool. So that, that's, yeah. that's a good first plane. What did Absolutely. you, 
what did you migrate to after that? Just curious. After that was uh, the Park Zone P-51, the gunfighter. You guys remember that one? A hundred percent. Squishy was the pilot of that one. Squishy. Squishy. That's what everybody called that pilot in that gunfighter. Squishy. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's that's a pretty intense jump. Did you? How was your? How did you do going from that to the uh, well, gunfighter? I think I probably replaced the fuselage four times. <laughs> uh, it it, st- it was it stuck in a tree for three months, and the receiver and ESC survived. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Uh, did you do your own rudder mod on that one? I I did. I did, yeah. Yeah. Michael Sherman was talking about that one. Hey, I think that one of the coolest things about that gunfighter, I think, was putting it in a dive. You can make that prop howl like crazy. Oh, yeah. Wasn't that fun? I mean, mm-hmm. almost ghostly. I loved it. Cool. Yeah, awesome. Kind of making me want another one. I like the uh, a good park zone plane right now is the Wildcat, which is a uh, one that's been brought brought back. I like that one a lot. That's a fantastic flyer. It's one of those planes that a lot of guys were surprised it left. Um, mm-hmm. But man, it's it's nice seeing AS3X come back um, because that was released pre AS3X originally. I wrote that one up years ago in magazine. Um, it's nice to see it back, and then. Uh, some others have come back, like the Stinson, right? And some other things? Yeah, the Stinson came back for a brief period. I don't think it's sold anymore. Um, the Radian obviously came back as the, the Night Radian. What else has come back? I'm kind of looking around my garage. The T-28's been around for a long, very long time. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Back in the day, that T-28 and that Hobby Zone Cub you're talking about were the, the first two best two um, advice-giving planes. You know what I mean? That's like the, that's what people wanted you to go for. Um, the Corsair back then used to always get some talk, too, but the Trojan always seemed to, to win mm-hmm. on, on that one. Um, all right, cool. So, you know what? Moving right along after Gunfighter, what was next? I'm curious. <laughs> what was next after the gunfighter? It was probably a couple planes. Um, a Stinson actually had one of those, and I think it was right around that time. Uh, and then I started trying to get into 3D. So I probably I I, I got a slick uh, 540 from Extreme Flight. I bought it off a buddy of mine. You guys might know him. His name's AC Glenn. He used, he used to work for Horizon with us, and he's like, "Yeah, you can have this." So that was that's another plane that was. That was a fun plane to wreck and learn on. <laughs> um, that's awesome. So, so how long after that? I'm gonna kind of hybrid up these questions. How, how long after? So, so when did you start working for Horizon? Like, how long did you have the bug? Um, um, before with, Horizon, with I didn't radar? really have the. I didn't have the uh, airplane bug. I was more into like little nitro cars and uh, just bashing with the RC cars, um, stuff like that. Nice. So, so that was your first hobby experience was surface stuff. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yep. yep. And then airplanes happened because when I, when I when I went on to when I started working at Horizon. Okay. I like, oh, airplanes are cool, and I I started playing around with them. That was Sweet. about eight and a half years ago. All right. So you weren't flying first. You were doing like surface stuff. It, correct me if I'm wrong, but did I see you doing f- like stuff for Force RC or, or Diamond Hobby back at Force early RC on? I did a couple things for, yeah. So who flies uh, Chase quads for the videos at Horizon? Is that you? Uh, that's mostly my buddy Pete. I, I, I've done a couple of them, but Pete, he's uh, – He's actually kind of one of my my protégés. Uh, he started Horizon about five years ago, four years ago, and I kind of brought him under my wing and taught him how to fly quads. Fantastic! I, yeah. That's one guy I wish I had in my backpack for for videos we do. It's it's just yeah. uh, it's just Mike and I out there getting it done most of the time, and I would love to have a chase sometimes. Oh, it's so great! It's it brings another level to those product videos, and uh, I'm glad we started doing it. I'd been pushing for it for a while, and uh, I, I had done the original when we first came out with the uh, FMS A10. I did the chase for that video, and everybody was like, "Oh my god, this is the best thing ever!" 
that was the door. I remember yeah. that. And 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 I, I'm glad you brought that up because that's the kind of stuff I want people to um know you from, right? Like uh, oh yeah, that that yeah, you know what I mean? A ten first came to the US or, or well, yeah, somewhere around there we did a, a chase video of it. It was pretty cool. I remember. Was there a couple of them up in that video? That a lot of times you guys will have multiples up and do uh, Oh yeah. I, I don't know if well, there might have been a portion of that that had two of them up. I think there might have been. Yeah. Cool yeah. stuff, man. I, I love it. And and it, it really is top notch to to see that chase stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I, if you I guys are looking for a good chase quad. I'm gonna do a product plug. Do it, man. <laughs> do it. Uh, I got a lot of stuff. I got so much stuff here. I've actually been wrenching on this guy. This is the uh, the Blade LRX. So this is our seven inch quad. I got these big red guys on here that I was gonna start playing around with. But this and a GoPro Hero Seven, the black one, butter. It's it's great. Out of the box, you get great, great video. Just is the GoPro the, the new GoPro is like super stabilized, right? Yeah, with the super smooth on it, it looks so good. So that's been what all of our newest, latest chase stuff's been with. Didn't I see you take a quad off for like in front of your house with like a it must have been a, a brick <laughs> of a 6S pack the other yeah, day? That was a 7,000 milliamp 6S. I flew it and I did a couple of flips. And I think the uh, I, I, had, I was using three adapters because I needed to go from EC5 oh, to no. uh, XT30 or 60 down to the uh, yeah. So it's like three adapters and one of them wiggled loose when I was trying to do a flip. And yeah, so it, but it flew. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, it, it happens, right? Yeah. Uh, so that's that's very cool. Um, like I said, I'm gonna ping pong back and forth and plug whatever and and send me whatever you want. Like you, you want the pilot Ryan stamp of approval? Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see. Well, you know, I'm working on. There's a lot of relationship stuff in the back end going on already. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you know what? I hell or high water. I'm gonna do that new um, F4. I got I got the free wing one behind me because I just did a, a video with the JP Hobby 6S upgrade situation yeah. uh, that RC Jetworks sells, and I also had his brakes in it. And we flew it actually the same day I crashed that Corsair. So that video is coming out as soon as Andy has more of that stuff in stock. So mm. anyway. That's setting back there right now. But the E Flight F4, I'm kind of waiting to talk about that one. Um, I'm really it's kind of next level, man. It's it's pretty cool. I, I'm super hot about <laughs> it. I can't wait to get my hands on it, especially because I've flown this 90 in 8S configuration, 6S configuration, 6S hopped up someone else's equipment configuration. I've crashed them. I've you know, I've done I've flown it with uh Two, I, I've flown at 6S with two big packs in there, trying to just like get as many milliamps. I mean, I've flown it heavy, I've flown it light. So I'm super anxious to fly that E flight one. And watching the video, um, I guess let's talk about it. Watching that video, it looks to be really um, nice and light. Um, it seems to fly really, uh, you can kind of, I can kind of feel plane if it's heavy or not almost just by watching and um i feel like it it looks really good and of course it's going to be locked in with as3x and the kind of pilots you guys have but um yeah. it, i love choices so l let's let's be honest and i'll ask honest questions and you do what you you got to do for your answers but i think most of us here think that the DNA of that E-Flight F4 is probably familiar. And I'll just be vague for now and see how you play it. Um, but chances are there's an 80 millimeter in runner in that F4 that is also in the BAE Hawk 80 millimeter that's sold also by Horizon Hobby made by mm -hmm. FMS. Am I, am yeah. I right in saying so? No, oh, yeah. We, we work very closely with FMS. Yeah. And Thing. On models like the F4, we uh, we say, hey, this is what we want. We see what you guys have, but can we tweak it? And can we make it more of our style, our quality? So we did, definitely, yeah. It, it, it's no, I wouldn't say it's any secret that Horizon works with FMS. There's yeah, it, only it a is few secret. really good foam manufacturers in the in in China. Uh, so you know, we we kind of we we seek those out, and FMS is one of them. 
I think all of us over here appreciate that that's the DNA in that because it, it gives you, for me personally, a guy who's flown a lot of stuff. Um, I feel like I also have a very discerning taste. I, I won't spend money on, on mysteries. So uh, for, for that to have that DNA in there makes me very, uh, I, I, I feel like I know what I'm getting. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it's good stuff. Sure. And, and the team up with you guys and them, I think it's brilliant. And, and because I love the efficiency of the FMS fans, I'm super excited on many levels for that because it's unbelievable to me the flight time I get out of those 80 millimeter fans, the 70 millimeter fans, and the 90 millimeter fans. Um, and, and for the longest time, I had, I thought three minutes was all I was going to ever get out of an EDF. Yeah, be able to. I mean, I feel guilty saying the kind of flight times I get out of the FMS stuff because it's almost unbelievable. Uh, if you've been stuck in three minute land forever, it's unbelievable. So, congratulations! I hope the E flight does <laughs> amazing for you. I'm gonna have at least one of them <laughs> yeah. guaranteed, and and uh, I can't wait to get it. I'm a little bummed out. I tried to pull the trigger on it, but they don't let you do PayPal. Um, you got to do credit card, which I suppose isn't a problem for most people, but I, I'm a PayPal guy. So you I have to PayPal PayPal on our website, not until no. they're in house. So pre-orders back orders. No. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. You know what I mean? I tried. Yeah. <laughs> I tried, but I, I got deals working. I'll, I'll end up with one somehow, but congratulations. <laughs> Beautiful plane. I can't wait to have it with me um, when we do some events this summer. Will you be going to any uh, events in, in the area? Like the two I'm thinking of are Jet Jam in June um, down in uh, the very bottom of Indiana. It's a, it's a great event. Fantastic yeah. flying field. Uh, Robert Bellomini puts it on. Um, it's been in Muncie once, but it's, it's down there now. Are you guys going? Uh, I think it's been tossed around going to that one. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure though. Don't you guys, I, I can't remember. I, I meant to get the dates down, but I can't remember what the dates are for jet jam. And then you guys have horizon hobby, uh, flight fest early June as well. Yeah, RC fest is the first week of June, first weekend. Um, and it's just a big RC get together. It's going to have every single facet. We're even thinking about putting down a little boat pond, um, we're, we're last year, it was more of like a show where we were trying to bring in just locals, people that didn't know what RC was this year is going to be much more towards the RC enthusiast. We're going to make it so that if there's a flight line going to be in several flight stations for people to be able to fly during the day, like you would at like Joe Nall. That's kind of our, uh, goal is to make it, you know, like a miniature Joe Nall here in the Midwest that everybody can come to. There's going to be camping on site, uh, shopping on site, food on site, beer on site. It's going to be a lot of fun. That's fantastic. Um, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that sounded crazy. Um, that sounds fun. Um, I, I would like to check that out. Yeah. So, so uh, Lewis Patton is one of your, uh, he's a horizon pilot. Um, yeah. He was at jet jam last year. Okay. And he is a nice guy. Um, we actually helped him set up an AS3X receiver, which is funny. Um, Captain Mike's got a lot of experience setting up the AS3X receivers. He loved mm -hmm. them. And so we set up, it was the first time we got to hands-on look at the FMS A10. So we set up your guys, uh, one of your team pilot guys, uh, FMS A10 <laughs> at the show last year. Uh, nice guy. I actually messaged him or, or something on facebook uh he's he's uh he he's big on jets over kentucky uh-huh yeah that's a good one he's big on that and i think he's already making arrangements and things like mm -hmm. that so it's a big one yeah um i wish i could go to more so so you work there you get to go to all kinds of stuff i go to shows all the time uh, i just got back from ama east last week i was going to yeah. ask you about that i saw part of your live uh this week. You and alex i think Yep. Yep. Me and Alex. It's so, so you get to do that all the time. Um, I, it's, it's not as often I get to actually get face to face with, uh, people that, you know, know us. 
but I think it's just a ball. Isn't it the most fun? Oh, I love it. I, I, I've, uh, I've gotten really used to talking live on camera. I think I do it pretty well. Hopefully I do. Um, but yeah, it's uh, just talking to people like they're my friends. I, I actually started at Horizon uh, in product support. So in product support, we talk to people on the phone all day, trying to work them out through their problems uh, and things like that. And I was known as Talk Show Tom because I would always answer the phone like, thank you, for or, thank you for calling Horizon Hobby Product Support. This is Tom. So that was my whole shtick. And, you know, it, it's easy to talk to people when you can put a smile on their face right away. Man, absolutely. Yeah, I, I put it. it. And when you can, uh, when you can uh, offer assistance and you know what you're talking about and you like what you're talking about, that's good stuff. Yeah. Let's see. Awesome, man. So, so what's your, this is a, the, one of the most generic questions, but I feel like you must ask it because it's always a stumper for me and Mike. Um, and you'll know when I ask it why, because it's almost like a roll eyes question. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm ready. It, 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 for us, the answer always depends on kind of where we're at, what the weather, I don't know. Favorite plane. Favorite plane my, of all time. My favorite plane of all time. That's that a, I've flown? It doesn't matter if it's foam, whatever. Because if no, you no, answer no, that I've flown, like that I've actually flown. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have to say it's the Flex Innovations Ventique 60. Awesome. I really what, like that plane. What about the one you haven't flown, like you would like to, like next, like Wish? What do you want to get your hands on? Man, that is a good question. Ah. Just to say that I've flown it would be my, a friend of mine, Chris Puckett. Uh, and he, there's a bunch of them. I think they're mode, made by a um, it's a, it's a giant, giant 65% uh, PA Cub, like a PA 18 or something like that. Okay. It's just nuts because it's it's running on like a 400 cc engine. It's it's like you could literally fit a small person in there and fly them around. I, that would be a trip to fly that. So I don't know if I would like to own one or anything like that, but I'd love to be able to fly it once. He wouldn't let anybody fly it unless you were like, you know, better than he was flying. It. I was, sure, I, I'm sure. not. <laughs> so that, that, that's good to know. What's the, um, here's one too I always ask. This is the F word questions. So right. what, what's the last one you fixed? The last plane I fixed? Yeah. Uh, the V900. <laughs> I think that might be the last plane a lot of people fixed. It, it's, just, <laughs> it's just so fast, right? I haven't, I haven't uh, done one. I, it was just a bad hand launch, and it kind of knocked the nose off of it. <laughs> I'm fixing a brand new uh, big Corsair up is what I'm doing. Yeah? Right now. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's the one I'm fixing. To yeah. Just, uh, yeah. And then Wish... For, yeah, I, I like to answer my own questions sometimes. I, right now, I, I always obsess over kind of the newest thing that, that intrigues me. So I'm, I'm definitely um, – I'm ready for that F4, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm, I'm going to get my hands on an F-18 again. That FMS F-18, we flew one in Texas when we were there visiting with some uh, people. It was actually a show that ended up getting rained out, but we – made a good time of it and uh it's one of those birds where i really enjoyed it but i didn't get to spend enough time with it so we're, we got one on the way and um so i'm looking forward to that one and i actually had a good time with the 1100 millimeter warbirds we just uh worked up for hobby zone those i don't know if you saw the arrows rc stuff but there's a yeah, yeah right the 1100 millimeter bearcat and the trojan we were able to do the like first videos on that coming from Aeros RC, which was really fun. And then um, hopefully we'll we'll do their Mustang and that little Thunderbolt sometime as well. Cool. cool. Yeah, fun times. That's uh, a lot of work right there, yeah. <laughs> what'd you say? I'm sorry. I said that's a lot of work. You got three uh, what reviews coming up for the the Aeros. Yeah, we did. Well, the two are up already. Oh, okay. And, yeah, so I'm just kind of waiting on uh, whenever they're ready to go on the uh, 
the Mustang and the and the Jug will do that one too. But it was it was really cool to be able to do that launch with them. We use the show and Instagram and YouTube, and it, it's pretty. It's actually really fun. Uh, we we have uh, our flight reviews are the ones that are embedded on the Hobby Zone and ArrowsRC.com website, which is uh, it's an honor. You know what I mean? It's cool. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, personally, I, I'm just building drones a lot, so I, you know, I, I get uh, a little sidetracked on the airplane stuff. It's easy, <laughs> you know what? It's easy to, you know what? You, you, you said it right there. Like, you start talking drones to me, I will not like completely glaze over. But <laughs> I just don't keep up like I do on the on the plane. You know, you you are where your heart's at a little bit, and. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man, it's cool. I I've got nothing against them. I'd like to do. Uh, I really do want some chase uh, potential. Let's see. So let's hit the comments for a minute. A lot of guys saying some nice things about you and customer service at Horizon. Nice. Yeah. And, um, th these guys talk to each other a bunch. I, I can't tell guys because I got the the wing split, but uh, or the wing split. I do have the windows, <laughs> a split wing. but I have the windows, uh, you know, split up. So, how many guys are in the room right now, ladies and gentlemen? There's a lot and of them. John Zinn, good to see you here. Somebody just got another stand from him. That's yeah, awesome. Eighty people watching. How many? At least on my end, it says eighty. Oh, nice. Good. That's good. That's good. Eighty. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Chris Rod. says, "Bring back the carbon ZT28." Yeah. Here, you <laughs> you know you were going to hear that one. Oh yeah, yeah. Everybody says that you probably helped them one time or another. Good. You're uh, welcome. V very cool. Awesome. All right. So Tom Cogswell, yes. have you got your FAA numbers on your aircraft yet? Uh, only on ones that I feel like I might lose. I <laughs> good answer. Yeah. Um, you know, I know a guy who's uh, he's he's with the federal government mailbox police. And as soon as he's done taking his rounds on who's messing with mailboxes, he's going to go to the field and make sure you got your numbers on, too. <laughs> for Rizzo or is that just a joke? It's not for Rizzo. OK, <laughs> but I like the terminology. See, man, I'm hip, right? You're 32 yeah. and young and I know what you mean. I'm, just <laughs> I'm not hip at all. Buzzcut 2239, late to the show. What's up? He says, hello, Miller RC makes something other than a timber or a cub. Um, <laughs> you didn't think I was going to say that, did you, Miller RC? Yeah, what? I know that the turbo timber came out a little premature. We were we were going to hold off on it, but they were like, you know what? They, we kind of got them early, so it was like, let's go ahead and put them out. So. I mean, <sighs> why not? You know, yeah. we, we could get really uh, business talky right now, but I, I think if it's if they're in the warehouse, there's going to be a really good reason to wait. Um, and as far as commerce goes, we want we want modelers should want the companies to do well. You know, and and it doesn't make a lot of sense to sit on stuff you could be moving. You know what yeah. I mean? Oh yeah. Bill Shepard in the house. Um, I'd like to thank all the patrons who are here this evening. Thank you so much. Uh, Y'all are very generous. Uh, how long have we been going? Okay, half hour. Papa Boozer in the house. You guys hit me on Instagram if you want to see a little teaser on the uh, T45 outfitting that I'm working on right now. I've got that video will be coming out probably next week. Uh, the Freewing F4 with the JP Hobby system will be coming out next a uh, couple weeks probably and then i'm working on a uh, a follow-up to that corsair crash where there were a couple guys in the comments who asked how do you fix a foam airplane so michael and i have cooked up a really fun way to show you and i'm not going to let that cat out of the bag yet but <laughs> it's going to be epic and because that video went like viral, RC niche style, I, I swear. I mean, 12,500 12, some views in, in a week on an RC video is, yeah, is viral status. I'm super proud of it. It was yeah. short, so I think I kept everybody's attention with it. 
and, and I wasn't afraid to call myself out. And everybody knows the walk of shame, right? Oh, yeah. So anyway, uh, the follow-up fix-it video for that is going to be, I hope, informational and just dumb in the best way possible. Is it going to be like a like an episode of Red Green? You remember that old show? Even better. <laughs> Let's just put it like this. Captain Mike works his regular job in the medical field. So we can rebuild him. I'll just say. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I need to get airbrush stuff, Mary Boozer. So Ricky the Photon, Dave Kowiski. Dave Kowiski um, sent me a gift, and I got it this week, and I wanted to say thank you here publicly for my wheel chocks. He sent wheel chocks he got at RC Jetworks to me for the T45 project, and when I get to do shine a little more light on that project, I'm definitely going to be rocking the Dave Kowiski wheel chocks. Thank you so much, Dave. Um, Jeff's Custom RC, Shelby Sealback. Um, hey, good to see you here, man. First live stream. I think you asked a comment somewhere else on social. I invited you to the chat. Am I right, Shelby? Um, Bill Shepard says, hey, why is NASCAR popular? Crashes. Crashes. <laughs> Miller RC asked me a question about free wing. Is Freewing going to or planning to make a super scale F-18? Uh, I do not know. <laughs> Dennis Farley says, hey, Ryan, I know a guy that has airbrush stuff on his Amazon store. I'll hook you up. <laughs> yeah, man, drop the link. That'd be cool. Ricky the Photon Dexter says, Dave Kowitz, he's a brown noser. Am I wrong? <laughs> Ricky the Photon's out of here, out of his mind, Cogswell. I want to call uh, you. I know what your name reminded me of now, Cogsworth, right? Cogsworth, yes. Right. From uh, Beauty and the Beast, right? Exactly. I just got back from Disney like two weeks ago. My kids are seven, five, and two. Mm -hmm. So, like, Disney's a thing um, around here. And oh, yeah. Cogsworth, that's what it is. Yeah. I completely screwed this guy's name up before the video went live. I called him Cosgrove for whatever <laughs> reason. And I was telling him the story how, like, my dear friend Andy Davis at RC Jetworks, I called him Andy Smith for months before he finally corrected me. <laughs> Craziness. I think it was on the Corsair video, Shelby. Good, good to see you there for that. Thank you so much. All right. So – Cogsworth. <laughs> um, sorry, I get off chat. I, I get off. I get off base here when I when I want to keep up with the chat. No, you're um, fine, man. Hey, Mike Kennedy, you're absolutely right. Wasn't that the boss on the Jetsons? Yeah, he was the bad guy boss. That's right. That's the right. Antagonist. Yep. Antagonist. Every show's got to have one. Oswald Cogs. I tell my kids, there's always got to be a bad guy. Come on. Yeah. So, all right, FAA, Nephi, Corsair, Jet Jam, Jetworks. All right, what else you got for me, Tom? Uh, I want to say thanks to Brian Chambers. Uh, we actually worked really hard on a new studio, so thanks for looking at uh, pointing that out, buddy. I appreciate that. Oh yeah, the new one with the uh, the kind of like the wood look in the back. Yeah, yeah. Well, so we've got a new studio that's got three different setups: a wood wall, just kind of like a painted drywall, and then a stone wall. Um, and they're each kind of used for their own means. And yeah, so new sound and all that, and new cameras. It was fun. I, I noticed that it looks really good. I actually appreciate that. Um, you get the lights are nice, you know, and mm -hmm. proper. It, it, it's cool. Looks good. It does look good. Yep. I definitely saw most of that. Oh, my gosh. You're giving me a heart attack, Dave's RC. You're such a good guy. Oh, my gosh. You're out of this world, Dave's RC. Thanks so much. Uh, somebody gets a T-shirt. Dave's, Dave's RC is buying it. <laughs> we'll pick later. Um, that trips me up, too, when that happens. Thank you. That's very nice. Um, let's see. Dave's RC, that's a big shirt. Rick, uh, RC Weaving FPV, Ricky the Photon, Dexter, the dog on the Jetson reminds me of Wesley Boozer. I believe it was Astro. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so the set looks really good. What can we see next? I know, obviously, everybody wants to ask what's coming next and all that kind of stuff. 
you, um, you can't say, right? Not necessarily. We, we've teased a couple of things. Um, so there's a new uh, helicopter from Blade coming out called the Blade Fusion 360. That's going to be really cool. It's going to have a new flight control system designed in-house. So you guys, I don't know if mentioned many of you guys fly uh, helis as much as you fly uh, little foam airplanes and whatnot. But uh, those are really cool. So that's coming soon. Um, I don't have one with me, but uh, I don't know if you guys have been checking out the new smart batteries from Spectrum. But we're going to have some higher C rating smart batteries coming out soon too. 50s and 100 Cs. Wow, that's cool. Let me that's ask you first for us. Let me ask you something. Does the uh, so those are IC five connectors. Do they work with the EC five ESC? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's an EC5 connector with uh, a higher heat resistant um, casing, so the connector is higher heat resistant. It's all uniformly made from AMAS, so like you, you guys probably remember like buying some from one manufacturer and then buying EC connectors from another manufacturer, and they would be different. It's like why are they different? So we've essentially made it so you, you they can't be. They're all made at one place. Um, they're easier to solder, uh, and they've got the little data pin in the middle for the the uh, the little data chip inside of the battery. Oh yeah, for like, for like the eye chart. Yeah. Well, it's for uh, our own chargers. We uh, it's uh, you plug in the battery, it knows exactly what to start charging it at, and then it tells you some other info about the battery, like how many cycles have been on it. That one's really important to me because I like to. I, I'm one of those guys that used to check mark my batteries, be like, okay, this one, you know, cycle, 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 and I'll check mark the battery to try to keep uh, tabs on how old it is. So now they, these batteries do that for you, which is pretty cool. That's why they call them smart batteries, right? Yeah, exactly. They're smart. I'd like to. Um, I know Chloe got some of those early on and and did some stuff on there. I, I actually need to check it out. Um, I'd like to. I'd like to try those too. Um, cool, man. So you answered me some big crazy stuff on on what you wanted to fly next. What about and, and those are cool. That's like bucket list kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. What kind of currently – I mean, do, do planes grab your attention or, or, or is it quads and, and helis mostly? And, and what jet or aircraft would you like to get your hands on that's out kind of right oh, now? Oh, man. You know, I'm, I'm actually more of an airplane guy than anything nowadays. I mean, I love a little bit of everything, but uh, I mean, quads are good because you can just go out and fly them and have fun and at a park and just zip around trees. Um, but uh, if I were to fly anything that's out right now, I would love to fly Havoc. I'm surprised nobody at work has let me fly one of theirs yet. I'm kind of a little meh about that. They said, like Ali Machinchi, he's always letting people fly as Havoc, and I, I've never fly it, flown it. So I was like, man, I want to try it out. <laughs> Are you, are you not talking A20, are you? Which huh? Havoc is this? I, I'm, I'm clueless. So I'm the, uh, the Elite Aerosports Havoc, I think it's a, a 120 that they put into them. I'm going to look it up right now because I want to know what it is. Yeah, there's, there's like a mini version coming out. I might actually buy one of those. I'll just have to sell a kidney first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at that. Oh, they're beautiful. That jet. Yeah. Yeah, that's dynamite. Oh, yeah. And you can get them customized from them. Like you, you want a certain trim scheme, you can get them that way. There's an Ooh. IX-12 one out there. That's really cool. It's all branded out. Is is Are they turbine or electric? What What's they're in them? Turbine. They're turbine. Yeah, I think they're 120 size turbines. They put a large plethora of different size turbines in there. I think I've heard of a 200 in there. Sean Gallagher gives it a, a thumbs up. Sean Gallagher is team pilot for RC Jetworks. The only time I've got to fly a turbine was one of the um, HSD Super Vipers. Uh, yeah. Which are amazing. They're foam. Mm hmm but you can get them electric or you can get them turbine ready. Yep. And uh, man, that thing, I called it when I was flying it. It felt like the uh, carbon Z T 28 of like turbine segue, you know, entry <laughs> yeah. level. Yeah, I mean, 
it looked like it too because it's like it was the Trojan scheme, nice and big. Um, and it, it's a 120 equivalent as well. Um, man, so fun. I, I, I didn't take it off or land it because I just didn't, but I got I flew it and uh, man, that was awesome. Uh, thanks to Andy Davis, uh, aka Andy Smith. <laughs> from RC Jetworks. Josh Mangrum in the house, what's going on? I'm supposed to ask you a question. Uh, are there any new Carbon Z style airplanes in the pipeline? Uh, absolutely. Um, I wouldn't uh, even start to discount that those are going away at all. Uh, it has been a little while, but you guys will see some, some cool stuff coming out. That's fantastic. I saw comments also about um, for 2019, probably would be some bigger stuff. Maybe not a whole lot of um, micros at the this year. Maybe on the table. Is that right? All all the time. Yep, new micros all the time. New. Okay, so that was BS. What was BS? Well, that's the people made it sound like there weren't going to be any more micros for 2019 released. And some guys were cool. I don't know where they would get that from, but all right. <laughs> our secret our bread and butter. The, the internet, man. You know, if it's on the internet, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> um, Carbon ZT28 for the win. Everybody's into it. Um, Hell yeah. Yeah, the Carbon ZT28, it's, it's really nice. So you know, can, hopefully we'll see something like that. Okay. I hope so. And let me, everybody like the Carbon ZT28. However... I'm going to say my two cents on that plane. Ironically, soon after the Carbon Z T28 was released, the E-Flight 48-inch 1200 millimeter T28 was released. One of them looks more scale than the other. And the irony here is that it's the small one, three-bladed prop, a little bit more scale fidelity. I wish... I wish, I wish, I wish, and I never would have got rid of my Carbon Z T28 if it had suspension struts on it. I can get over the three-bladed prop not being there. It would have been nice. But suspension struts, man, because the thing was so beautiful. It would come in so nice, and then you get that from those pigtail, you know, springs yeah. and the struts. It's just this is a slight miss. And it's right. like, uh, maybe don't come stock, but offer it, you know, as an add-on. So anyway, ball link. Yeah, yeah. Michael Sherman says ball links. Um, not to pick on you, man, but I just got to say, like, that plane should have had, uh, it would have been nice to see ball links instead of those nylon. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. And, um, I mean, I broke mine putting it on, I remember. Uh, mm -hmm. It, you know, it's funny too. The hundred whatever mile an hour rare bear had those nylon links to uh, clevises, and it's like you got to be kidding me. But then the, the Conchendo had like di dynamite clevises, and it's like a, <laughs> yeah, like a, like a hundred and fifty dollar plane. <laughs> That's all right. I know we know stuff comes from multiple places. It's cool. Um, yeah. Mary Boozer says if they offered upgraded retracts for that, they would uh, buy them. Okay. So anyway, th Tom, get on that. I'm just teasing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming on. This has actually been really cool. And um, if there's anything you want to like address the hangar rack community, um, feel free to lay it on us. I'll probably let you go in a few minutes and then I'll hang on with the guys and wrap it up. But uh, man, it's been a pleasure. Oh, yeah. We it's should been a good time. I'm, I'm happy to do it. It, uh, it went by quick. So I'm, I'm out in my garage just freezing a little bit, but I'm, I'm happy to talk to you guys. Well, it worked out, and we did, you know, guys uh, in the chat, uh, you know, usually when these interview things happen, we, we get to work on them for uh, a couple weeks, um, and that's kind of what we did. We I think I threw a line out a week or two ago. Actually, you were gone, you were actually willing to try to do it from AMA Expo. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't want to bother you. Being I, away from I feel kind of salty about that because I, I got back to the hotel room that night and there was these guys from a thing called RC round table. Yeah. They, actually, they did a podcast from there. Like, Hey, you want to sit on it? I was like, yeah, I guess that's fine. Cause I was there, but I was like, Oh, and I, I told Ryan, no, <laughs> well, you know what? That's actually, I'll go watch that. I didn't know that. And that's fantastic. I mean, there's nothing like being there, you know, like I, we, we had, 
we went to the show in Texas and we did a show live from RC Jetworks house. And when we go to, we're going to do them from uh, jet, you know, we're taking this show on the road. So the, the fact that th those guys were speakers and presenters at the AMA expo. And, hey man, honestly, like even if you and I were, were booked for doing it, I would expect you to completely put me off for another week or two to be able to sit in live with those cats in the room. I mean, yeah. it's, no they're, skin they're, on those, man. They're cool. all right. They're, they're all a bunch of stick builder guys, and that's not really my thing, but that's cool. Yeah, those guys have been around for a minute, and Terry's a magazine man, isn't he? Yeah, um, yeah. And those other guys, they've been around for a while, but Terry, I know he does uh, articles as well for Model Aviation and probably Park Pilot. Actually, he's one of the few guys that's on Twitter as well. Um, okay. So, yeah, we follow each other. I'm everywhere, dude. I'm on Twitter, Instagram. Uh, a handful of Facebooks, of course, YouTube and whatever. So, uh, all right, guys, let's see. I, I don't want to miss anything. Anybody? Guy who, asked, I've been looking. He said, hey, where am I from? I'm from, I'm in Illinois, so central Illinois. Uh, it's not too bad out here. It's where Horizon Hobby is headquartered here in Champaign, Illinois. So I'm just outside of town there. Yeah. That's awesome. When are you going to get me a full-time job there? Uh, do you do graphic design? No, but I hire graphic design done really well. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm just trying to think. We're looking for a gra graphic design artist right now. I'm kind of a guy who talks really a lot in front of the camera and can fly at the same time, if you need any guy yeah. like that. Well, I, we are always looking for content, so and we love sharing it from the community and seeing what people have to have to sh show, you know? So. Well, you got my number, and uh, yeah, we got uh, we got a lot of community here that likes to see what uh, Pilot Ryan and Captain Mike think about stuff. So, anytime, anyway, yeah. that's not why I had you on. But um, I really let's see, my guys, let's not miss anything in the comments. Before we I like, like uh, Michael Sherman. He's saying sixteen hundred millimeter Aero Commander. That sounds like an awesome plane. That's a good idea. That is a good <laughs> idea. That is a great idea. Yeah. Uh, Dave Polwischke dropping links to cruise and stand. Um, you'll see that I use that all the time. You'll see it come up in our video where we fix the Corsair as well. Um, everybody says, thanks for coming on. Um, Mary Boozer. Thanks, man. You're, you're, that's nice of you. Uh, Ricky, the photon Dexter. He's out of this world. Bill Shepard's talking about the A-10 is fragile. Maybe they'll beef it up. Um, <clears throat> Miller RC is asking if the extra 300s out yet. Yes, it is. Oh yeah. That big dog. They started, sheep, they started shipping last week. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Eric Rogers says it would be cool if Ryan did Horizon Hobby videos. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, maybe one day. You know what? I, 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 I definitely need to come by that field. I, I One of your old um, – I don't think he's there anymore. Michael Ramsey was like senior copy editor or something. Invited me out one time, and I just never made it. He came from AMA headquarters. He used to be yeah. an editor in chief at um, uh, Model Aviation and Park Pilot, mm -hmm. and he he moved on, and Jay Smith took over, who's still there now. Um, yeah, anytime, man. Uh, let's see, F one hundred Super Saber. Anybody? All right, guys. Let's say let's say goodbye officially to Tom. Tom, we'll have to do this again. Hopefully, okay. we can see you out at an event sometime. Yeah, um, everybody at Toledo. So if you guys are going to Toledo, I'll be there. Everybody say hi to him. Check out the Horizon booth. Say hi to Tom. Tell him that you met him on the RC Pilots Lounge show. Tom, feel free to drop your links again to, to the pages that you handle for Horizon as well as anything of your own. Um, guys, you can see him in the chat as uh, – what's the name again for you? Hot Cogs. Yes, one of those weird cryptic internet names. Is it? <laughs> I've had it forever. Sorry. Yeah, hard, hard to say. <laughs> yeah, Mott Cogs. Michael, Oscar, Tango, Charlie, Oscar, Golf, Sierra. That's his YouTube channel. And you can also hit him up on his Facebooks. He does things at Horizon. Hit him up, visit yeah, him in the I, booth. I, uh, I control the Blade RC and Spectrum RC uh, pages on Facebook and Instagram, all that stuff. I do the social for that for the most part. Um, but really, I'm just a, a marketing or what we call brand manager at Horizon Hobby. Uh, just make sure everything's working smoothly behind the scenes with advertising and going to shows and just helping you guys out. Influencer like yeah. me, making sure stuff's working. Yeah, yeah. 
Hey, um, yeah, so drop your links in the chat. Also, if you would, please drop them in the regular comment section of this video. Oh, thank you, Dave Kowiski, RC Weaven. You, we've got guys already dropping links for you. I love so, it. Every, yeah, Everybody's so helpful. I love this community. This community is amazing. It, this show is theirs, right? Um, the show is the people. So you guys will be able to, in the replay, you can find links to uh, our, our guest tonight in the live chat as well as in the regular comment section. Uh, thanks again, Tom, for coming over. I'm going to let you go. Um, we'll finish out the night with the hangar rats, just me and them. Uh, okay. Th thanks for coming by. We'll do this again, and I hope to You're see welcome. you out time. I look forward to it. Thanks, man. Hit me in Messenger, dude. I'll, I'll yeah. talk to you later. All right. Take care of yourself. See ya. See ya. Guys, that was fantastic. I'm going to just go ahead and go back to uh, – Regular full let's and uh, we'll keep it like this because I can see the comments. It's a little bit different doing an interview, guys. Um, and it was nice being able to see the chat. I made sure I could, guys. That was cool. Uh, I want to do more of those interview shows. It was really nice having Tom on the show tonight. Show number thirty. That's seven and a half months. Can you believe it? Um, you guys are fantastic. Thanks for coming by and supporting. You guys said there was 92 in the room tonight. That's like a that's a record, isn't it? I think it is. I can't remember anymore. Um, I love seeing all the new faces over here. John Zan, good to see you in here, sticking around. Jeff Jackson, Shelby, Barry Gruder, Brian Chambers, Miller RC, all you guys that do the super chat, you're you're crazy and awesome. By the way, who's gonna win the shirt for tonight? Who's going to win the shirt? Um, because Dave's RC just bought you one. Um, Mike Kennedy says Horizon needs you to give their reviews a little life. You know, I think there's an, a lot of personalities around. I'd like to definitely lend a hand. That'd be cool. Um, let's see. Mrs. Boozer RC. She's putting her hand up. Will Nate 35 needs a shirt. Joshua McLean, definitely me. Josh Mangrum, flip a coin. <laughs> Terry wants to know why no one has said stick it monkey pants yet. Um, I don't know. That's a good question. How do I get in on the shirt, says Roy Thorward. Hanger 51 says pick me, Mary Boozer. You already win everything. Pretty soon, break the 100, says Paul Hatcher. That's right. Shelby nominates himself for the shirt. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it to Shelby. Um, new guy, come over from the comment section of a video. I've never seen him over here before. I think let's do that. I, I hope that doesn't rub anybody wrong, but I think that's what we're going to do. Shelby, you're the winner of the shirt. You can go to Teespring, pick the one you want. Tell me which one it is. There's a couple different styles of uh, Pilot Ryan and Captain Mike shirts. We've got Hanger Rat shirts now in the house. There's a couple different styles of those as well. We got the full length rat, and then we got the like kind of squadron pat style Hanger Rats shirt. So I want you to hit me up, Shelby, in um, Messenger on Facebook or however you need to. Is anybody able to drop my Instagram? Where are you at, Shelby? Are you on Facebook? Don't don't buy it. I'll, I'll get it shipped out to you. We'll do all that stuff on the back end. Um, just, Shelby, make sure that we can contact each other, either Facebook Messenger, uh, direct message on Twitter or Instagram. Find a way to get me. If I don't hear from you relatively soon, not doesn't necessarily have to be tonight, I'll, I'm going to reply to a comment somewhere on YouTube. So make sure you comment in the real comment section of this video um, because there's so many comments on that Corsair video, it's going to be hard to find you. <laughs> Mitchell Farley, get out of here, man. You're crazy. You guys' shirts are in the way. Uh, Mitchell and Dennis, they have some shirts on their way because they are um, they're, they're patrons on the Patreon page. So if you if you're in a certain tier of the Patreon page, you you get a shirt if you want. Kawishki, I'm waiting on you to tell me what you want whenever you're ready. Paige Farley, 
Got your full hanger rat shirt ordered. Thank you so much. The Farley family has been outstanding supporters of the uh, Pilot Ryan and Captain Mike Enterprise for a long time, and I really appreciate them. You guys can thank Paige Farley. No, Jasmine, right? Jasmine is the one who drew up the uh, hanger rat that you guys are all seeing on the shirts right now under the guidance of Dennis Farley, who like put her to task, put her to work on it. Um, so, so cool. Josh Mangrum, you're amazing. Thanks so much. Miller RC says, tell MIG to make a scale MIG 15. Somebody make one. I, at this point, I don't care who, who does. Um, oh, let's see, man. That was pretty cool. We're right at an hour. It's nice having an interview um, and, and kind of an agenda. I don't always get to have that. Uh, definitely think, uh, again, everybody for showing up and supporting and show Tom some love, hit him in those links. And when you go um, follow those pages or engage on those pages that he runs, tell him where you came from. All right. Tell him, tell him, uh, tell him what you came from over here. Very cool. Dave's RC. Thank you so much. Shelby. Thanks you for the shirt. Um, that's fantastic. I can't believe your generosity. Thank you so much. Uh, you guys are amazing. Mary Boozer, if you get your shoot show, um, I want you guys to go to Dave's RC's YouTube channel, by the way. Please drop, before you leave Dave's RC, drop a link to your YouTube channel, would you? Please, everybody go check out Dave's RC's YouTube channel. Um, he dropped Bitcoin tonight, and uh, that's just cool. Dro drop the link, and let's check him out, support him. Uh, it's very cool. Um, it is nice when the guest microphone works, Mary Boozer. Yeah. Um, yeah, by the way, thank you, uh, Kowiski, for dropping Dave's RC YouTube channel. Very cool. Um, Boozers, if you have your T-shirt store up and running, drop your link as well. Boozers got some T-shirts rolling. And, and tomorrow, the premiere for you is going to be, uh, what, the Jet Show? Dave's RC, you have new shirts coming as well, like your own stuff? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, man. Come here every week. You guys can drop your stuff. You know, I, I think it's great to pass around support for the community over here. The one thing, and we give it freely. You know what I mean? The sub for sub thing is ridiculous, but, like, go go support the guys you want to support. And, and we'll let everybody know you you exist. You know what I mean? Foam Boy RC, what'd you crash? You say you crashed a big one today. What was it? We're going to try to wrap it up in 10, 15 minutes, guys. I really appreciate it. And I, 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 I couldn't wait to talk to you guys also. So, yeah, the Boozer Channel premiere, is it, what time is it going off? 8 o'clock Eastern time? is the Florida E-Jet Fest tomorrow night. Yep, 8 p.m. Eastern on Mary Boozer's RC YouTube channel. I was working on the Mary Boozer uh, Papa Dada T45 today. Aventador 2004 says we should do a live flight someday on the stream. That would It's a great idea, but 9 o'clock is pretty dark. Boozer merch, new patch shirts coming this week on his store so you guys can they're not there i guess but you can go to the store and check out the things he does have eric rogers i can't see your whole comment i'm sorry considering it is 10 p.m where you are at and you have little kids i can't see the rest of it let me see if i can move it over a little bit what happens when i touch things though is i'll lose a window oh yeah little kids <laughs> oh, was it the Sky Sword that you lost? Um, my man. Miller RC loves the look of the Sky Sword. I don't know what I think about that Sky Sword. I'd have to fly one to to really get a good a good take. Not yet, but very soon. That's uh, RC Weaven FPV. The C one thirty crash last week was the fault of the problem hobby king took care of him on that one cool um 
Mangrim says he's mad he missed the show. Well, you can always catch it on the replay. By the way, I don't know if any of you guys noticed, but last week, thank you, Kowiski, for the arrowsrc.com link. L Shelby, I agree with you on that one, by the way. Um, last week, 9 o'clock, was the premiere of the uh, Corsair crash. And I, I kind of – I've been I, – I study up on how – YouTube works and all that kind of stuff. And YouTube likes the shorter videos to promote and put in front of more people. And I really wanted that Corsair to go. Um, yeah, thanks, Dave. I wanted that Corsair video to go crazy. Um, and so if YouTube's going to promote your most recent video. I, I on purpose set last week's live stream to unlisted the minute it was over because I wanted the um, Corsair to get all the love from the algorithmic robot of YouTube. And that seemed to work out pretty good because it's got like 12,500 uh, views on it. So let's see. I'm going to look right now. Let's see where it's at. Let's see where it's at. You guys were actually so very – there's only a couple jerkwads in the comments, but most of you guys are really, really, really nice about that crash. Um, the channel's doing amazing, guys. Amazing. And that's it's you guys. Mike Kennedy, what what do you wonder what why that happened? The video going crazy or what? Or the crash. The crash was my fault completely. And I'm going to pre-flight so good next time on everything that if that happens to me again, I'm going to know it wasn't me. Yeah, you like the slow-mo part of the crash? <laughs> so to the point, though, I'm going to make this live stream also probably um, – unlisted as well it's not gone mike kennedy you just have to go to the channel it's on the playlist podcast and live streams um you know what i mean so the video's there you can watch last week's live stream but you just have to go there on purpose i don't i'm not gonna have um youtube promote i may let it fly and see what happens but i'm 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 waiting for this corsair video to run out of steam so I'm going to set this one unlisted as well. Um, you can still watch it. The only way you can't watch a video is if I set it to private. So these videos that are unlisted, these live chats, um, are, are in the podcast and live streams playlist. If you go to the homepage of the YouTube channel, they're right there. You can't miss them. So I'm not keeping them. I'm not holding out on you guys. I, I just want the flight videos or the crash video or the build video or those videos to get more attention on YouTube because I'm getting more into this than you guys probably want to hear. But the, the thing is a two hour live stream or an hour and a half live stream. YouTube wants people to watch all the way to the end of the video. So if I have these things up publicly, not everyone's going to watch all the way to the end. So I want people that want to watch it be the ones watching it. So if you want to watch it, you want to listen, you want to treat it like a podcast, you can find it. It's still available. It's up there unlisted. But algorithmically, it won't do me harm because YouTube will put it in front of everybody and people are only going to click it for like two minutes. And I, I, I that hurts me, actually. So... That's what's up with that. And and look, it paid off. You guys can see it. I mean, that Corsair went crazy. So um, I'm back on the comments, guys. About five minutes. I'll probably, if I say five, ten minutes, I'll wrap it up. I'm out of coffee. I didn't get out of the house to get my uh, – I, I got home early this afternoon and wasn't able to leave. My boy and uh, mother were out. Um, yeah, the quick builds are cool. Dave's RC, you're still here. I thought you were splitting. It's hard to leave, isn't it? Um, Roy stays till the end. Um, it definitely separates whose heart is into flying. 
Dave Kowiski, what link are you trying to find, guys? Sorry. Ricky the Photon, what are you talking about? I have a new t-shirt coming out of a Corsair doing a barrel roll on takeoff. Sorry, too soon. <laughs> um, two hour show. I haven't had dinner either. Coffee's gone. Won't be long now. Yeah, man. Dennis Farley says uh, Starbucks withdrawal syndrome. Red Bull. Ryan, have you flown the Inductrix Air? No, I have not. Um, it'd be fun to. You know, it's funny. I don't know if you guys remember the Inductrix, but me and Mike went to a doctor's office and did an Inductrix challenge a long time ago. And it was just so dumb in the best way. Um, true, Ricky. Thank you. I saw your comment, too, about the hugs with Chloe. That was nice. <laughs> um Skip is my brother from another mother, says Dave's RC. Yeah, Michael Sherman, I'd like to fly that, um, but I haven't had a chance. Sea Viper Patrick, what's going on? Yeah, I'm not sweating the Corsair thing. I will make lemonade out of those lemons. Just wait till you see the, uh, the fix it video. It's going to, you guys will go crazy. I, I hope it goes crazy too, actually, the, the repair video, because it's going to be dumb. Just, in the again, in the best way. Uh, Michael Sherman says he keeps that thing at the office. Um, may have changed the thumbnail, RC Weaving. Yeah, they're, they're, everything's up there on the channel. Pilot Ryan and Captain Mike's Patreon channel link. Thank you, Dave Kowiski. Um, we got five of those guys right now. You're one of them. Thank you so much for that, you guys. It's cool. That's how I stay in it, kind of. Shelby likes Gorilla Glue, but have you ever taken an x-ray of your plane's damage? Tell me that. Phone Boy RC, any advice on how to fix a totaled plane, preferably an EDF jet? Please respond. Need to know ASAP. Um, credit card is one immediate fix you can make. Um, man, I tell you what, you just have to get in there and divide and conquer. It, especially a jet like a Sky Sword, if it's not going to be straight when you're done, you might plan on a new fuselage. Um, Brooklyn born. What do you think of the new E flight Phantom? I think I can't wait till I get my hands on one is what I think. I think, uh, you know, every now and then uh, guys have made comments in the video about the way the EDF sounds. I mean, every now and then you run into one that maybe is a little out of balance, but for the most part, those EDFs that are in there are amazing. Um, and if you get a bad one, they'll make it right too. So I can't wait to fly that 80 millimeter F4 Phantom. Uh, because it looks really light on the wing, you can tell it's not flying very heavy. And, of course, AS3X, I mean, get out of here. It's going to be sweet. Um, yeah, save your electronics. Thank you, RC Weaving. That'll be cool, man. Josh Mangrum says, throw it away. What, the fuselage of the crash? Um, I'm going to show you guys how to a couple different ways to fix a crash like I had on the Corsair. Um... Let's see. Yeah, Ricky, that 80 millimeter FMS in runner and that F4 is going to rock the party. Um, flight times are going to be sick. It's just going to be so, so cool. Ron Upton loves the 2000 KV FMS fan and his F86 sounds great. Josh Mangrum says needs a whistle. 12 blade, yes. Brooklyn born says that the Sky Sword probably needs some Viagra to fix it. Um, Dave Kowiski dropping links to Skip Built's RC YouTube channel. You guys go anywhere. Tell them where you came from. Um, fixing Foam Planes 101. Uh, is that a video? Cool. Thanks, RC Weaving, for doing that. 
Um, Mike Kennedy, it's a little too early to tell. However, I think you'll be okay. Mike Kennedy asks a good question. How much of a step up in skill is an F4 from my Hawk? Um, I think really the only thing you got to be careful of is and be aware that you have a full flying stab on the F4. And it's a little bit less forgiving than the Hawk where you need to muscle through your turns and be aware that you're not scrubbing off speed too much. F4s are a little bit different, but um, I think you'll be fine with the E-Flight F4 if you're getting along on the BAE Hawk, especially um, AS3X and safe and stuff. I mean, get out of here. Well, that's a game changer. Dave's RC. Thanks, man. Um, yeah, Chris Jackson skips skip. You know what the thing is, man? Dedication, right? You you know, not everybody wants to get in front of the camera and make videos. Uh, a lot of us are just as dedicated as the guys who do get in front of the camera and make videos. But that's the thing about the community. You know who's got it just as bad as you do because they're like always there making videos of like the new stuff. They're just into the hobby um, as much as the rest of us. And so. Go check those guys out. Yeah, I remember. Um, I think I remember when Skip started his channel. It hadn't been that long ago, maybe two or three years, if, if I'm right. Uh, Josh Mangrum feels the need for speed. That reminds me of the F-14, man. I can't wait to get my hands on one of those. In your opinion, is there a better performance EDF than the Avanti? Holy smokes. I'll say this. Um, the Avanti is a magical airframe shape. I don't care almost who makes it. If you look at the HSD Super Viper, it's like an Avanti. It's got that keel underneath, which allows them to not have a big vertical the big vertical makes sport jets kind of wobble a little bit. The Stinger 90 was okay, but not near as nice as that Avanti. I think the free wing Avanti is a badass, um, completely. Um, and I think the HSD Super Viper also is. I mean, it's the same plane. It's just so much bigger. Um, I haven't flown the FMS Avanti yet. I think it's, what, a 70 or 80? Um, I'm sure it's awesome as well. But the... Uh, I mean, the FMS Super Scorpion is fantastic, but the, if you like an Avanti, if you already are leaning towards an Avanti already, you should make it happen. I mean, it's just a fantastic airplane. I, I got the L39 because um, it, it was new, and I just like to try everything. So I actually sadly got rid of my Avanti uh, to f fund the L39, and... Um, you know, if there's a sweet deal comes up on an Avanti in the future, I'm going to get another one. I'll just put it that way. The L39 is fantastic. Um, and I can't wait to fly it some more as well. But the Avanti's magic, dude. I mean, it's just magic. And it's lit up really nice. Yeah, man. Rich did a good job on that video on the F14. It was cool. I watched that today. Me and Jason Rigney were talking about it. And, um, you know, he did a modification. I haven't seen it. I just heard him talking about it. Uh, with the batteries. And I think it was so he could move them back further. So I think he was right at um, CG. And I think most guys probably fly heavier batteries a little bit more forward. And so he had a big pitch up with the full flaps. And um, I think it was because he was flying it really balanced. I think if you fly it nose heavy, it's it's probably not as bad. But that's an easy fix, you know, just mix, mix out some of that elevator. Uh, it was a great little, it was a great video. It was fun to watch. And I can't wait to get my hands on one of those. Um, Shelby's building a 90 millimeter Skyray Balsa EDF right now from a kit uh, out of Scandinavia. RC Weaven's tip trick of the week. Uh, when you're like, let's say you busted the face off of your Corsair and you glue it up and you want to hold it so you can walk away, saran wrap. 
wrap it around there. That's a pretty good idea. I actually have some big stretchy Velcro straps I use for that stuff too. Dave's RC likes the F14 a little nose heavy. Um, I think nose heavy is always a good place to start and then kind of move back from there is what I like to do. Yeah, Eric, I, I heard that. He's going to flesh it out and get everybody familiar, uh, point of reference with those 4,000s, and then he's going to do some more um, with some heavier packs. Yeah, that's what he was saying. Let's see. RC Weaving FPV, has. he says he's had a share of – LJ Hobby Life says he's had a share of fixes. Yeah, man, I have too. Let me tell you this. Me and Mike – for the longest time, we're getting early planes to make media for to build the websites. If it's the only one in the United States and you crash it, what do you think happens? They don't just pluck another one from a tree. These things are coming over like air freight from China. It's a big deal. Um, we're fixing them. We're fixing them. Um, we had some bad info on the A4, and Mike did the maiden um, aft CG and like neutral elevator with up trim. It was it was like it was the worst, and um, that plane did not make it. Uh, it was a bad one, and so we, I reached out to my friend John Barnes Bajora, magazine man. After they did the work for the magazine on the A4, <laughs> I had them send me landing gear because that's the only thing we needed. We couldn't fix it otherwise, but we had everything else put back together. And um, and then after that, we went with our own judgment, which was nose heavy. And, and kind of those findings are why there was an update in the first place. Uh, you guys remember getting a sticker on the box and there's an 80 millimeter that they never said to not fly anything less than a 5,000 in. Most 80 millimeters, there's a range. But um, that A4 5,000 seems to be the call. Um, the Free Wing Knight 860. Man, what? In the, I, I don't remember that. Do you guys remember the Free Wing Hellcat from like forever ago? Um, 3S F-22 has been through hell and back. That's a great little plane. Um, guys, we're still rocking it. Eight minutes, I'm going to cut it. So anybody, I mean, look at it's March. We're finally getting ready to be like nice weather again. Isn't that the best? That's the best. So I've got to go to Cali. I'm going to get my stickers. Everybody um, do your thing on the FAA. Uh, let's, I'd love to see you guys at the event Jet Jam or Nephi. I know guys have dropped information and links to that stuff. Um, so make sure you check that out. Chris Jackson asked me if I'm going to have QQ on someday. I'd love to. I'd love to have a lot of industry folks on and designers someday. Um, I mean, this is y'all show. So, you know, you guys tell me, and, and I'll work on people. One of these days, we're going to have uh, our friend from Arrows RC on here. Mary Boozer wishes he could have got the uh, old Freewing SBD. Lee Davidson asks if Mike is out riding his bike again. I don't know. <laughs> uh I have not flown the Flex RV8. The only thing Flex that I have flown is the uh, Flex Jet, right? Isn't that what it's called? That thing was fantastic. Um, but I haven't flown anything else. Yeah, I, I'd like to have Andrew Williams on. I probably, I will hopefully, you know, this show is going to be um, – Definitely at Jet Jam and probably Neffy too. So you guys, we'll, we're going to do a live hangout. So that'll be fantastic. The, even if the Wi-Fi is no good, we'll record it and then it'll go out later. 
Um, I think World Models does still make a Dauntless. I tell you, a lot of guys, if it's not foam, they're not doing it. Brooklyn Born, what do you think of the flex jet? Was it hard to land? Absolutely not. And check out the video on this channel. We, we did it. It was like the first time I ever flew one, and I thought I did pretty good. Um, we all flew it there in Texas. It was fantastic. I kind of prefer the original one to the new one with the thrust vectoring. I think that new thrust vectoring one is like 8S. I'm totally okay with the 6S one. Josh Mangrum, Nephi is in Muncie, Indiana. Bottle of pop, big banana. I'll see you in Muncie, Indiana. AMA headquarters. It's the weekend after Jet Jam. Ricky, you killed it, Ryan. Thank you so much, man. Always glad to see you. Um, you survived the cruise. That's fantastic. RC Wow's dude says it flies itself. It 100% does. And it's really well thought out. And what's neat about it is that it's made to fly as a model. There's definitely a difference in sport jet versus like scale jets. Um, there's a, a reason to have both. I mean, uh, I love the sport jets for like really letting it loose. And I love the scale jets for flying them like scale. So, yeah, man, that flex jet is amazing. I'd like to get one, actually. We flew one, but I'd like to have one. Uh, let's see. The VQ Dauntless is awesome, says David Christie. First magazine article I ever did was on a Dauntless. It was from Windrider. Mary Boozer says, I need to fly the big flex C-170. Yes, you're right. Shelby loves the balsa builds. You know, my buddy Jason Rigney, he flies all the foamies, but he, he's, a, he's a big scale guy, firstly, and he's getting back to that a lot. Need to maiden my free wing B-17. Load the nose, man. Um, yeah, put some ID numbers on our RC planes now. Yeah, true, Brooklyn. Um, you know, that's the rules for now. Don Willman, what is going on? What is up? Let's see. I will kit build the boss of planes. Dave Kowiski has the Dauntless from VQ still in the box. Speaking of still in the box, man, not to just plug stuff, but after the crash, <laughs> I couldn't help myself. So I have, I have a Corsair I'm fixing, and I have a brand new one that I'm not going to keep that hasn't flown yet. Coca-Cola sponsors the after hours party at RC Pilots Lounge when the coffee runs out. Don Willman wants to know, have I flown the RC Arrows Mustang yet? No, I cannot wait, but I have not. Mr. T1035, he says, I thought the numbers can go inside on the lid for the FAA. That was until they took their ball and went home, changed the rules as they play. Roy has a couple of wood planes. I have one wood plane. It's the E-Flight PT-19. Um, I used to have the World Models P-51, like 40 size electric. And uh, it was a magazine workup. And honestly, I got rid of it as soon as I could. Um. Yeah, man. Speaking of like wood stuff, uh, my buddy Andy at RC Jetworks has the Adrenaline RC Jets, which are like composite and wood, like built up planes. Super cool. Um, da -da -da -da. Let's see. Precision Aerobatics had a mishap months ago with a B25. Oh, man. Did you guys see that video Just Wing It put out of that B25? hundred some inch deal uh it was awful too bad 80 still in the room um uh, five minutes i promise that's it let's see what if we are not a member of a club do we have to still use a designated number yeah the faa wants you to have a number on your airplane um a couple bad apples ruin the bunch right
Yeah, my Coke's not on your patch, G. Perry Swap Meat. That must be a famous show. I hear about it all the time. Yeah, I got to do the FAA thing. Um, laughing. What, who are we talking about? Do I want to know? Probably not. Um, Arrows 51 flies really nice, says One Sky RC. Um, something beat me to it. RC weave an FPV. Why you say that, Dave Kowiski? There's the crash, but the coffee was okay. Uh, the bad apples won't use FAA numbers, right? Exactly. Just like the bad guys don't follow the law on other things as well. Hang a rats in the house. Um, the new Coke. The there is there a, even a new Coke? For RC modelers, the number is good for all your birds. Yes. Uh, the, the, the AMA didn't even show for the hearing. Yeah, Raven Rock. I mean, we could go on and on with the uh, FAA deal. Tony S., what's up? I've not seen you here, man. Welcome. Thanks for coming over, dude. Kind of late. Correction. Oh, man. Sean, Okay. RC Jetworks is uh, not carrying the adrenaline jets. I misspoke there. I apologize. You know what? Uh, Dave Kowiski put up a post on Facebook, and I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do what he did, where I I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna let Cali Graphics do my numbers for me once I re up. Um, yeah. Uh, where do you get a number in 80 stickers? Cali Graphics, man. Roy says a guy at the hobby shop made a good point about the FAA number. What was it? Thanks, Hi Jinx RC. Thanks for coming over here. Anybody who's coming over here and is not subbed to the channel, man, consider doing that. Uh, hit the bell as well. Follow on all other socials. If you go to the homepage of the channel, there's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Amazon Store, uh, Patreon, all that stuff. Um, and, and that way you'll be notified when new things come out because we got new videos coming out all the time. And we're having a lot of fun over here. And then we got the best community. Uh, let's see. I'm totally wishing there was someone else for insurance. Yeah. Your numbers are going to be camouflaged, but on the outside. Yeah, I'm going to do the stickers. See people's number on YouTube and anybody can steal it. Yeah, maybe that's a good excuse why I don't want to do it. Yeah, I like that inspection plate thing. Kowiski put that up on Facebook. Thinking about buying a new plane tonight, Ryan. Can I get one from your link? Apps 100%. Anything you get through the Amazon store... Um, qualifying purchases earn us money. Small percentage. Thanks, Ru Rufines, Rufinus, number 13. Thanks for subbing. Yeah, man, that's what it's about. We have gotten uh, this channel. I say we because that's what I feel like, man. We uh, 425 in the last 28 days. Josh Mangrum, it's the Amazon link, bro. It's it's going to be in the description of this video right here, as well as the home screen of the YouTube channel. There's the little icons for Instagram, Twitter, Amazon, Patreon, Facebook, all that stuff's right there. You consider YouTube the home page with the channel art kind of like my website. That's the landing page. That's where you can go to get to everything else. Thanks, RC Weaven, for posting that up. Yeah, you guys are really awesome there. Uh, have the wives bookmark the store. If you're going to buy online, get it there. It doesn't matter if it's on the store or not. Like, whatever you get uh, does the same thing. Mr. T1035 got a F14 with the double high fives. Coke Classic, New Coke, Diet Coke, Cherry Coke, etc., etc. Um, I remember the new coat came out in the 80s. It was the worst thing ever. Um, 
Ready to do it now. Do it, Josh. Do it. What do you mean, shop not found? Which link, bro? Uh, F900EX. If you clicked a link that's broken, tell me where it's at because I'll fix it. Um, I don't want to click a link now because I, I get taken off of the chat. There should be... I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting sidetracked. Hey, you guys want to see me do an uh, FMS F-18 again? We did. We flew one in Texas, but I, I'm going to do another one and do a legit build and everything. Before RC, I did rock and roll, Brooklyn. Okay, cool. You guys got the link to the Amazon store worked out? Yeah. How would you even try vanilla orange and think it was an okay idea? <laughs> RC Weaven says his link works. Hanger 51 says it's broken. God bless America. Cool, Eric Rogers. Yeah, I'm actually really excited about the F-18. We flew it with Dave Hawker set up and like a, I think a real heavy battery. So I'm actually looking forward to flying it with lighter packs. Um, so cool. Can't wait. Man, that link's not working, guys. I'm sorry. It's making me uh, go crazy. I'm going to see if I can't. Click it. Kawishki, you might have to grab the link from somewhere else if that one's not the right one. I don't get it. Yeah, five more minutes, 30 minutes ago. So LJ Hobby Life says the link worked for him. Which one did you click? RC Weavens or Dave's? Okay. Goodness sakes. Uh, bookmark it. Yeah, it, and, and it's... It's the one in the home screen. It should work as well as the one in the chat, in the comments. I build out the description as well. It's got links to, ev I think, should be everything. Um, FMS motors or RC Jetworks motors in the F-14 is the question. Um, man, that's a really good question. Does he have any 80 millimeter uh, setups over there are the jet fans 80 millimeter. I don't think JP has 80 millimeters, so you might be looking at the FMS ones for now, which are pretty inexpensive. Um, I know I had them on my store for a while if they're not sold out, they go fast. Accidents happen to make money sometimes. Skip built, I don't know what that means exactly. But I wish I knew. It's a two-hour show. Yeah, this is why I'm getting so tired, man. I got to go Hollywood because my eyes are going nuts, actually. And I'm not trying to be funny, but my eyes are totally going nuts, guys. But I can kind of read still. FMS or the Freewing 9-Blade 1900 KV is best. You know, I, I got to say the free wing systems are very robust and uh, they're tough. They're solid. They're reliable. But I think they're kind of heavy, actually, as well. And um, I, I just got to be honest, man, like the nine blader, they talked about efficiency, but I didn't. Maybe maybe efficient on static thrust or dynamic thrust, maybe some numbers. But where the numbers that I want to see improvement or efficiency is um, flight time. That's what I want to see. But it, but it's a good solid. I mean setup. I mean they they are rock solid. There's no doubt. Paul Hatcher says when you're cool, you wear shades, twenty four seven. This way too, you don't know that I'm reading comments. You think I'm looking right at you. So that's another cool deal. The A10 setup is heavy but easy on the batteries. Yeah, well, and it's tried and true. I mean, I'm flying 
I'm not flying F14 yet, but I'm flying my A10 on the A A10 setup, and it's it's cool. Um, probably because it hasn't updated because I haven't left. That's good then. It's correct that the link's in your description. I'm sorry. 73 watching now. 59 likes. Yeah, do your thing. Thumbs it up, guys. You guys are wonderful. You, you know, I, I do, do your part to feed the algorithmic robot. I appreciate it. But I'm really just glad you're here. What about end of year reunion party at Ryan's Field for the podcast? How about the Arrows P47? Anyone get that yet? I can't wait to get that one and try it. I think there's always a time and a place for every different kind of airplane. Um, Brooklyn born is the free wing F 22 as good as the Avanti. Uh, to me, I, it's a very tough question because they're completely different classes. The F 22 is amazing. Um, in its own right. Right. Um, and the Avanti is amazing as we discussed. Uh, so I think the F 22 I can't compare the Avanti and the F-22. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to compare the F-22 to other scale jets, like military jets. The F-22 is freaking dynamite. Um, and it's totally like an F-22. And it's big. So it's nice and light flying. I think that's one of my favorite things about it is um, you can really slow it down. I mean, everybody thinks about jets going fast. And that's I do too. It's really nice being able to slow them down and actually see the thing that you're flying. You know what I mean? So it's hard to compare the F-22 to the Avanti. Um, I think if somebody's flying off of grass, the Avanti kicks butt. I think the F-22 will be fine on grass. But it's for me, when I fly the scale military jets, I've, I'm more interested in the landings being awesome than I am when it's like a sport jet. I still want the landing to be awesome on a sport jet, but it's less critical to me um, if it looks really cool or, or whatever like that. So that's a tough question, man. Um, what kind of field do you fly off of, Brooklyn? I know that's not what it says, but that's what I want to say. Brooklyn born, Brooklyn born. What kind of field do you have, my man? Yeah, guys, I, I I hope we can all meet up at a show somewhere. I mean, eventually someday it'd be great to have my own event or whatever, but it's a lot of work. So you're, you're flying off of grass, no great places here in New Jersey. Um, I mean, I always want the landing to be awesome too, Roy, but definitely on scale stuff more. Does the Avanti 70 millimeter have it over the E-Flight Viper? I don't know about the 70 millimeter. Uh, FMS. I haven't flown it yet. Being an Avanti, it's definitely got some good shape to it, but that E-Flight Viper is amazing too. Um, let's see. What are we talking about? Hands down. So Brooklyn says grass, no great places here in New Jersey. I mean, all those planes are are, are boasting grass ready retracts as long as the grass isn't like nuts. Um, dun, dun, dun. The U.S. Air Force has the best A 10. LOL. Um, I'm looking for cell. Barry Gruder. Chuck Norris, Pilot Ryan jokes. Pilot Ryan can recharge a battery in flight. You should ask anyone at events if they are subscribed at events. Have you flown FMS A 10? Asked Tony S. No, not yet, but I will be. Anybody got any recommendations in Denver, Colorado for RC flying for my man F900EX? Brooklyn's jealous of people flying without trees and off of nice runways. <laughs> oh, man. Burr. We're still here because I hate leaving. You guys are the best. Oh, can you hear me still? I knocked the mic. Sean Gallagher, I agree. P40B is fantastic. 
F-16 4S on order. Do they still have a 4, 6, uh, 4S F-16? Which one is it? Oh, my gosh, Dave, you're hilarious. <laughs> Coca-Cola, baby. You got the right one. Uh-huh. That's Pepsi, and that's Ray Charles. Go relax. You're their best, Ryan. I'm sorry. I don't get it. Trees are okay. Just make sure you hit them gaps. <laughs> Guys, what a great show. Um, good time. Tom was awesome. That was fun. I can't wait to have some other guys on here. Um, yeah, and I, 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 it's hard to read. My eyes are going crazy. Oh, you're, you're modifying the Arctic camo to 4S. Cool, man. We flew a 4S one at um, Nephi, actually maidened it for a guy. It might still be on the motion channel. I'm not sure. Roy asked us if we want to hear a construction joke. Sure. Good night, Papa Boozer. Dave Kowiski, Pilot Ryan, Chuck Norris joke. Pilot Ryan can land on runway 37. I wish I got it. I, 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 don't, I don't understand. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm blonde sometimes. I like to land B-24s in trees. You know, one of my biggest problems is LVC from having too much fun. Um. That that's how you'll do it. I have a suspect feeling that it might have been something else too, but uh, you know it's speculation, so I won't say. Um, B twenty four in the trees, good times. Yeah, you guys. There's some guys who act like I never show crashes. Uh, I put a B twenty four in a tree, and I flipped a tiger meat mirage over too. Um. E Flight F4. Who pre ordered one? Tell me in the comments. This show will not go more than two hours. I do promise you that one. You guys are the best. I look forward to Saturday so much. Uh, we really are fantastic. When you guys get your, I'm not just schlepping shirts, but you guys who have them already, man post up pictures man tag tag me um yeah tony s robert and blosh on the show would be awesome um and that'll happen someday even if it has to be a pre-recorded situation i'll have those guys on for sure yeah mike totally did show a crash on the free wing yak that's right that was that was epic i was filming that one um oh there's never could be a runway 37 i get it the red bay crash what what's that the red bay crash mary boozer what are you talking about Rather have an FMS BAE Hawk at 349 than the E Flight F4 at 100 more. That's legitimate. Um, however, the Bay Hawk does not come with a receiver. Um, I otherwise, I, I mean, I, I feel you. I, I can't justify it other than. Um, 349 is from a while ago prices in the F4 obviously is a new release that's current. Yeah, the Bayhawk crashed in the cornfield, but there was nothing to see there. You got there was no video. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Red Yak. Mike crashed that dog fiddling's out of that red yak. That was amazing. The free wing ME262 is cheaper than the E-Flight F4. Okay. That thing's um it's a great plane, but it's it's a pre motion design. They might have tweaked I mean they tweaked the, the paint scheme. The FMS Bayhawk is a fantastic bird. I'm actually really excited to have I've flown that one and the seventy millimeter free wing and then of course the T forty five and I have a T forty five again. 
that I'm super excited to get some stick time on. I just put an FMS fan in it. I'm going to show you guys how I did it. Um, it's going to be very, it's, it's actually very much like the install video of the JP hobby fan in the F4, except it's an FMS fan, but basically they're the same, um, dimensions. Uh, how long have I been flying? That's a good question. I don't think I know. Uh, not that long, honestly. Not doing too bad for my first day, as they say. Um, yeah, Shelby, I, I would have liked to have seen a reinforced nose in the 262 as well. Sean hit 226 flights on his FMS Hawk today. Amazing. <laughs> you guys are funny talking about your methods over here. Fred Barron ordered the F4, he says, and the missiles and fuel tanks. What, those are an add-on? They don't come with it? You got to be kidding. Rookie Ryan. I think I started in 2008, 2009. I don't, even, I don't actually know. Really not that long. Um, Chris Jackson says about eight years. Shelby said they started. I'm sorry, I don't know. I might be at 15 years, okay, Mike Kennedy. 46 years for Hanger 51. Pilot Ryan can fly two planes at once in two different states. You guys are awesome. Uh, I, if you watch video, I can fly all over the place um, at once. 80 millimeter Avani video is amazing. I think that's the one for me. Thank you, man. It, we, I flew the Maiden on a red Avanti on this channel, and then we did videos at Motion for the yellow one, um, which was a good time, man. I put it on grass. I think we did a fun flight and a regular flight review. Aventador started last April. Cool, man. Then you're just in the throes of having the bug, like, super bad right now. Um, Dave Kowiski has been in the hobby twice, about eight years total. Cool. First plane for Shelby was the Dynam Corsair. David Parker, 20 years. Eric Rogers, um, he doesn't ever sleep. PTSD. Maybe that's my excuse too, man. I don't go to sleep till I pass out. Um, Mike Kennedy's been flying for a year, and he's rocking the FMS BAE Hawk up in here. Love it. You know what? That's the thing about the internet, you guys. Can you imagine the old days? Right now, we're all on the accelerated learning program. We get to learn from each other. Dennis Farley says 2011, skip built 2015. Um, two years, Josh Weaver? No. Is that it? I thought you'd been at it longer than that. Michael Sherman started with his pops in 74. Um must have crashed 10,000 planes in 10 years. Who, me? Um, started in 1981. Says BT. First flight this week for the Craft King number one. Congratulations, man. Hope it went well. And if it didn't, don't give up. It's, uh, there's a re, you know what? I'm telling you, the tenacious stick with it. It's not always easy. Started in 2015. Says Skip Built. Electric planes all the way, says Roy. Oh, yeah, fast curve. Yeah, fast curve for sure, man, when we all get to learn from each other. I mean, I can't imagine in the old days. I mean, I looked at planes when I was a kid, but I, I didn't. I mean, what were you going to do? It was a box of – I was a kid. It was a box of sticks and, like, covering. If you didn't have some an old guy to learn from, you, would, you weren't going to tackle it. I mean, not me anyway. 10 years a hang glider pilot, then 20 years RC pilot, says David Parker. Cool, man. Eric Rogers, appreciate you, man. That's a hard, that's a hard road, Broseph. Appreciate you so much. Uh, everybody who's, who's served or got people in. Um, salt of the earth. Don't ever let anybody tell you different. I don't care what the people in Washington are talking about. 
uh, it, it's bigger than that. Service, humility, salt of the earth. Thank you so much for that. I served as well. Um, so far, I have not lost a plane. Feel lucky because I lost signal on my Stinger and F-22. Almost crapped. <laughs> That's why it's the pucker factor. You won't be able to. Um, Dennis Farley's first plane was actually in 1976 on a control line and then back into a 2011. Yeah, man. Uh, Brooklyn says when we started, the clubs were all wood nitro planes. Yep. Don Wilman asks, is that my original jacket? The original jacket's back there, and it's my grandpa's, man. Um, it barely fits, but I can get in it. But this one, I, I actually, my, my original one has that fuzzy collar, and I wanted this. So I got it. I need to get patches on it. I got patches. I just got to get them put on. Dave Kowiski started with the little Gwillows planes. Yeah, man. Hanger Rat Pride. Uh, hashtag hanger rat pride 11 years flying military so far only five years in rc um eight years usmc thank you to craft king um lj hobby life has served fellow paratrooper airborne cool man um thanks everybody rattling teeth and fingers says aventador early flights 12 years for RC Wows, dude. Once you're hooked, you are hooked, and your pocketbook is cooked. Um, cool, man. Hey, everybody, it's that time. We're four minutes away from turning into a pumpkin. You guys, I hope to see you pop in over at Wesley's show tomorrow for his premiere. Uh, he did some coverage of the event. Brian Chambers, the first one to always throw down the countdown. <laughs> Uh, Brian Chambers, you're the greatest, man. Thanks so much for coming by. Uh, Mitchell Farley, first plane was a champ, then went back to the park zone P-51. Chris Jackson, we were all thinking about wearing light flight suits when flying at the field. Cool. Roy Thorward, uh, he's hooked. Mr. T-1035, yep, we all still going strong. RC Weaving FPV, thanks for always helping out, moderating. Everybody who moderates, thanks so much. Boozers, Kawishki, Brooklyn Born, good to see you. If you're if you guys are new over here, man, you're not a subscriber, do it. Um, Mitchell Farley, Eric Rogers, Skip Built. Um, you get to retire in a year, bro. Cool. Shelby, yeah, man, hit me up somehow on Messenger, or whatever. We'll get you pick out a check out the Teespring store. And let me know what shirt and what size and what color you want, man. I'll get you one. On Dave's RC. Guys, check out Dave's RC. The link's back in there somewhere. Um, I think he just started a channel, and he's buddies with Eric Rogers. Am I right? Um, Barry Gruder, thank you so much. Mitchell Farley, Hanger Rats forever. Um, hey, I got to get Jasmine paid. So uh, don't let me forget. Um, and then we'll do another design. Uh, Farley's in the house. I'm telling you, it does take a village. Stick them, monkey pants. Uh, that's what's up. Yeah, everybody, check out the boozers tomorrow. Um, it's going to be really cool to shine a light on that T45 again um, because they did some fantastic work on it, and I'm doing some fantastic work on it now, functioning tail hook that's strong enough to take catching a wire. It's going to be sick, and um, Captain Mike and I are going to document it so well that – I hope that video goes viral nuts as well. Um, good times. Guys, thanks for helping this channel get back on its feet. Um, there's so many ways to support us, and you guys are – a lot of you are in more than one place. It's just the, the coolest thing. Yeah, Freewing T45, Racer X600RR. I put a FMS 90-millimeter unit in it, and it's weathered up amazingly. Check out the Mary Boozers RC YouTube channel. You can look back on their live streams and you can see live action, them doing rivet detail and weathering of my T45. They then sent it over here. Now I'm doing it up with a new power system and a functioning uh, tail hook, which I'm working on um, along with my other queue of videos that are coming out soon. And my eyes, I'm sorry, guys, you, you, I, I got to, I can't. Keep them open. <laughs> Victor Shamulus, Corsair repair video 
soon. I'm going to show two ways to fix it. And since you guys are here, I'll give you the inside track. Not on everything because that video is going to be so dumb in the best way. But the Corsair repair video is going to be, I'm going to fix the old fuselage, which is going to be um, glue the face back together, um, epoxy, filler, paint, you know, fix what you got. And then I'm going to also show like transplanting parts so uh, guys can see, see that happen. So it, it's going to be, I think the video is going to be really entertaining and uh informative as well the whole thing is about bringing tremendous value to the community and that's why you guys come here i think and and that's what, why you'll keep coming back and that's why this channel our channel is going to do well because i think at this point after doing this this long i finally have a clue <laughs> as to what it might take to uh to do it right so hopefully so you guys are the best um I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. How did I do it last week? I had something slick for the four. I can't remember what it was. I should like watch the, the video. Um, all right, guys. Love you. Hanger rats forever. It's two hour show tonight. Thanks a lot. Thanks to my guest, Tom. I can't get his damn name right. Cogswell. What I call him before Cogsworth. Cogswell. That's not Cosgrove. Cogswell. Which one is it? It's Cogswell, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cogswell. Count us out of here. Time's up. Two hours. I know. It. Appreciate you guys. Um, Shelby, hit me up. We'll figure out your shirt deal. Uh, Saturday night is over. Time for me to get dinner, man. It's been a long day. It's crazy. Um, Hanger rats forever. We're out of here in five. Oh, that's what it was. Brian Chambers. Yeah, yeah. You guys are the best. We're out of here in five. Hang our rats forever. Three you later. Till next time. Stick a monkey pants. Peace out. Love you guys. Actually, this is kind of weird and different because I had an interview going, so I'm not sure it'll it'll end abruptly. But um, if you guys want to see the show and you're not finding it because it's unlisted, find me somewhere. I'm on social all over. All you got to do is go to the YouTube channel and go to the playlist for podcasts and live streams. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Dan, what's going on? Um, check out Mary Boozer's stream tomorrow, 8 o'clock Eastern time. Peace. Love you guys. Later.